frontier space is what we rangers like to call the no-colonization areas, the trench systems between the Union and Commonwealth territories. The rangers were formed with the goal of keeping the NCA peaceful, lawful, and safe for trade. One of the most lawless spaces is this, the Sparta system, which has long been a hub of criminal activity and the home of sparring pirate factions. Being a pirate... Being a pilot for the Rangers means putting yourself on the front line, whether you're ready or not. It means being courageous, being a hero. At least that's what my brother told me when he joined. Living up to our family's reputation of being ace pilots. It's been five years since I joined the Rangers, but this will be my first time stepping out as a Ranger pilot, not an engineer. I'll start at Halberd 1. Central Command. I just hope I get the chance to face the bastards who shot my brother down in cold blood. So you're the new ensign, good to have you on board, now let's get out there and see how you handle a starfighter. You have been assigned four sirs, that's short for standard issue ranger starfighter. You'll get four in total once you've proven yourself capable, but for your induction, I've put the training wheels, so to speak, on two of my favorites, the assault and the buster. Take your pick, I'll use the other one. Attention, attention. All the front workers, report to your designated station. I repeat, report to your designated station. 
the assault unit, the CSF tier, is a balanced unit, perfect for mid-range engagement with options for close and long-range combat. The buster unit, the USF Kierkegaard, is a heavy unit, focused on defense and firepower. It sacrifices speed and mobility. Interesting choice, Ensign. I bet Penaway that you'd pick the other one. <laughs> Damn. I know you're Academy trained, Ensign, but planetary gravity and those space sims don't compare to handling the real deal in Zero-G. We'd better go over the basics just to be on the safe side. Just fly around for a bit so that you can get the hang of your starfighter, and don't forget to drive the thrusters. You'll thank me later. It can take some getting used to. Now, try out your boost to move quickly. You can use boost in any direction. Feels a little different to the sims, don't it? Check out your heat meter. See how it went up when you used your boost. Heat is a measure of your emotional state. You'll see the meter turn orangish when you're in the zone. This is when you'll perform at your best. But, be careful of pushing yourself too far. Another useful technique is rolling. This can help you to reorient and realign yourself. Waypoints that you see on your display are a marker within physical space. I've placed a new waypoint on your display. Head on over there. Nice work. Waypoints can give you a better sense of the space you are in and point you to important landmarks. How are you feeling, Ensign? I am loving it, sir. Perfect. Now we can start the real training. I'm sending some drones your way. Let's use these drones as a quick warm-up. See them? Now quickly, shoot them down.
didn't they teach you to dodge at the academy? Your missile ability fires a missile that tracks towards your locked target. Get in range and aim at your target until you lock on, or that missile will fire in a straight line. Shoot a missile at the target. Each class of Starfighter has a unique missile that behaves differently. The Assault fires a corrosive missile that deals additional damage for a short while. The Buster fires a cluster missile that breaks into multiple homing projectiles. Your tech ability is unique to your class of Starfighter. I'll start by showing you my mecha's ability. The Buster's tech ability shoots out a bolt of lightning that traps your target in a damaging burst of electricity. It then passes the charge onto anyone unlucky enough to be nearby, trapping and damaging them, before passing it yet again. This chain can affect up to 5 enemy targets before it loses charge completely. Try out your ability now on these drones. The Assault's tech ability launches a drone that tracks enemies and constantly deals damage to them for a short time. Nice work, each tech ability may have a different function and purpose. Try and familiarize yourself with the combat capabilities of each starfighter. This may give you an edge when fighting against one of them. Your ultimate ability is charged over time, as well as when you deal damage to enemies. If you use your ultimate while in ship form, your starfighter will transform into its mecha form, then unleash its power. I'll show you the ultimate ability of my starfighter first. The Buster's ultimate release is a large salvo of missiles that target any enemies nearby. While in mecha form, each class of Starfighter has access to a melee attack in an empowered version. The Buster has a shield stun which electrifies their shield and stuns enemies hit by it. The Assault's ultimate gives a rapid fire and auto-targeting weapon for a short duration. And, in mecha form, the Assault has a slash that sends forward an arc of energy that continues to damage enemies after it hits them. Now it's your turn, you can see the status of your ultimate at the center of your display. I'm going to send out some drones for you to test the effects of your ultimate. Have fun!
Nice work. Now try and hit a target with your... You got it. Your mecha form is powerful and inflicts more damage. You probably already noticed that it handles a bit differently to ship form, so keep that in mind while in combat. And remember, using boost while in mecha form will transform your starfire back into ship form. Use that to your advantage, to give you the edge. Today, Captain, Ensign, Penaway speaking. Sorry to interrupt your fun, but I have an urgent matter to discuss with you, Ensign. Yes, command Service Center, ASAP. Over. Roger that, Penaway. Transmission received. The Ensign will locate you when we return. Over and out. Okay, Ensign. You've done enough out here. Let's head back to base. There's always more training than we have time for. <laughs>